Hi everyone. Welcome to How to Get More Entertainment from Your Library Card with the Fayetteville Public Library. My name is Renee and I'll be showing you some brief tutorials on how to access several of our free downloadable services. I'll be showing the desktop versions for these demonstration purposes today, but each of the products also offer free apps that you can install and use on your mobile devices. We're going to go over music, magazines, ebooks, and audiobook options today. So, first off, how do we find these wonderful things? You start off at baylib.org, which is the library's homepage. And from there, you want to go over to this heading called Browse and click on ebooks and more. And you can see a pretty good sized page full of options here. I'm going to be going over five of them today. The products that we're going to be talking about is Freegal, Flipster, Hoopla, Cloud Library, and Overdrive. And they're all accessible from our homepage here. Let me tell you a little bit about these before we take a look at them. Freegal is a free music download service. You can download five songs each week and you can stream music uh, through Freegal also. Once you download the songs, they're yours to keep. They get stored in your music library. It's not something that you borrow and then have to return back to the library. Flipster is a free magazine service. And when I say magazines, I'm not referring to periodical databases um, that are mainly used for academic and research purposes. Um, these are magazines at Flipster, Flipster are current issues of popular magazines on a variety of topics. Hoopla, Cloud Library, and Overdrive um, is where you can download ebooks and audiobooks. Hoopla allows for eight checkouts per month and also offers comics and movies along with the ebooks and audiobooks. The Hoopla service selects the materials that are available for us to use. Things are added weekly and some things only stay on Hoopla for a certain period of time. So if you're looking at Hoopla and you see something that you like, go ahead and check it out because you might miss it later. Also, all the things on Hoopla are available to all patrons at the same time. There's no holds or waiting lists. Cloud Library and Overdrive are a one user at a time lending model. If something is checked out by another patron, you can place your name on hold for it. And when that item is available again, you'll get notified, notified and then you can go on your device or on your computer and check that item out. Also, the library actually purchases the titles for um, Cloud Library and Overdrive. So if you are looking at either of those places and you don't see something that you'd like to read or listen to, let us know and we'll see if it's something that we can get for you. So let's take a closer look at each of these. I've already gone ahead and logged in to my accounts at each of these services and we're going to start today with Freegal. Um, this, this is the home page of Freegal. You can see the little home button right here. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. Now you can see the home button right there. And this is the landing page after you get logged into Freegal. Um, it starts off at home and it has the featured playlist, some featured songs, albums, videos, and audiobooks, and featured artists. Um, just taking a quick glance around at these, you can see that there is really a wide variety of offerings, a little something for everyone and every interest. Um, let's take a look at this first section here where it says feature playlist. Let's view some more of those. So again, there's a real variety of already create a playlist for you to start looking at. Let's look at this one, Boy Bands. It looks like it was uh, made by the Anchorage Public Library. Thank you, Anchorage. So I, I just clicked on the cover there on the image and that brings up a list of all of the tracks that are on this playlist. 
So let me just start up at the top and we'll start looking at some of these. You can see this table here, the songs are listed along the left, the artist or the band, the album that it's on, the length of the track, and this little uh, ellipse menu here. We'll get to that in just a second. So let's say this very first song is one that you're interested in. You'll click on the play button here so that you can listen to the song, make sure it's the one you want, make sure it's the version that you want. And if you're like, yeah, I wanna check this out, this is the um, buttons that you'll push here. Let's click on that. You can see the option to download it. You can add it to a playlist or create a playlist, or you can add it to a wish list. And your wish list is something that we're going to look at um, here in a minute. It's just some things that you're considering and you might want to download them later. When you go down here to the next button to browse, it looks very similar. Starts off with some top playlists, top songs, top albums, audiobooks, etc. And, um, and it looks very much the same. So if I want this song right here, I can listen to the song or I can download it from this very front page. I don't even have to bring it up individually. Also, across here, starts with the trending. You've got new arrivals. You can look at some of the newest things that Freegal has added to its collection and their genres. That's something I really wanted to point out. I'm going to click on that. And there is just really something here for everyone. Um, you've got your top genres here, but then there's some additional options um, that you can just click on right away. Say you want something Broadway or hip hop, jazz. You just click on those and it will take you to some selections that you can start listening to and select to download or add to your wish list for later. can also browse playlists, different artists, music videos, and audiobooks. You can also, if you see the search window up here, you can look for something specific. If, you're just wanna, if you just wanna see if there's something in there that uh, you wanna listen to, I'm gonna type in Brad Paisley and see what we get. So here's my artist uh, in the search results list, and I'm just gonna click on Brad Paisley here. I get some songs, not all of them. I can view all so I can see more. Some of his albums and some things that he's also featured on. Videos and uh, songs at his playlist, or playlists that his songs are featured on. Now, this other button along the left-hand menu here is My Music. And you'll, uh, you can see here songs, playlists, music videos, audiobooks, and these would be all things that I've downloaded. Now, I typically use Freegal on my phone, so I use the Freegal app. So I haven't downloaded anything to my personal computer. However, I think we should be able to see my wish list. So when you are listening to songs and maybe you've used up your five downloads for the week, uh, but you've run across something that you'd like to check out later, you can add it to this wish list and go back and download it later to your music library. So this very top one here, it looks very much like our search results when we opened up an album or a playlist. I can listen to it again, can get the details of the song here. And here is where I can download, add to playlist, or if I've changed my mind, I can take it off of my playlist also, excuse me, wish list also. So the My Music is what you've been doing with your Freegal account. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, there is an app for Freegal, um, as with all the other things that we're going to be looking at today. Um, all of the same functionality is there in the app, but with the nature of compressing everything down to size to fit a smaller screen, it might look a little different on your phone or on your tablet or your iPad. Um, so you might see some things under um, a, like a three line type of a menu, it's also called a hamburger menu, or this um, three dot menu like this, or like here, that's called an ellipse. 
type of a menu. So don't worry, all of the stuff is there. It just may look a little different um, if you're going through the app instead of using the desktop version. So let, let me uh, go ahead and log out. There's a log, log out button. Close that. Well, the next thing I want to look at is, um, is Flipster. And Flipster is the uh, magazine service that I mentioned. And I love Flipster. Um, you can look at current issues of so many different kinds of magazines, and they don't pile up around your house. Um, so right after the uh, library had to close because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we saw a real jump as you might imagine, in some of our digital services. And one of my colleagues created a handy dandy tutorial on how to use Flipster. So I'm going to bring up that video and we'll just take a look at that and I'll kind of narrate through what it's showing. It's very straightforward. Um, and again, it also has an app. If you prefer to use the app for Flipster, you can certainly do that. It works on uh, any of your mobile devices and also on, um, on your desktop or laptop. So let me get the video pulled up here. Maybe, ooh, that looks weird. There we go. So using Flipster with FPL. Let me just start this video. Oh, I think we have music. So it's showing you how to get to Flipster. And here's, there's another way you can go through our research or go through the ebooks and more. And it's going to prompt you to log in with your library card. And here's what it looks like when you first bring it up. Now, like I said, this was created, I think, in either March, possibly April. And you can see some of the most recent magazines here, Reader's Digest, some children's magazines, Consumer Reports. Cosmo, National Geographic Traveler, and it just goes on and on. And these are the most current issues. Along the left, you can also select and go straight to a specific category if you'd like. I'm just going to scroll through here and find something that looks interesting. So you click on the cover image. The magazine will open up and you navigate using these arrow buttons either to move forward or to go back just like you're flipping through a magazine. If there are links contained in articles you can click on them and it will take you out to in this case the Eating Well website. And you can, you know, get some more information about that particular article. You can also zoom in and make the text and the photos a little bigger or zoom them back out to just whatever size is comfortable for you. And you can also look at specific pages. By clicking on the pages button here, it brings up everything in this issue. And she clicked on this yummy broccoli looking thing and it takes her right to that. Instead of flipping through it, you could kind of scan the magazine by looking at the pages and clicking on the page and going straight to it. can also look at back issues um, and you can scroll through them here and you have access to those full issues as well not just abstracts not just summaries or the headlines or titles from these different magazines but you have full access to them so you just click right on the cover it's opening up just like our initial magazine did and there you have the issue that she wants to look at and she can start scrolling through you can also print some pages from the magazine if there's something you need to print out. 
And you can also use these settings, and that's not looking very clear, but you can use those settings to change it to one page view instead of a two page view and click through one at a time. Still have questions? Be sure to contact us. Yeah, let me see if I can get out of there. Kind of slow. There we go. Next thing that I'm going to talk about is Hoopla. Hoopla is next. And like I said, I've already logged in. Get myself out of the way here. Um, I've already logged in. When you get logged into Hoopla, it takes you straight to, you know, what is, I guess, your account. So it brings you right to, you know, what's called my Hoopla, which is your, basically your account. It has your uh, currently borrowed items. And uh, one thing that I have checked out right now is Arthur Rex. And you can click here to see your borrowing history too. Click on that. And you can see some of the things that I checked out recently. Um, you can see that uh, right here, this little icon here looks like a set of headphones. This looks like a video. And these um, icons here are for eBooks, which just is an open book. So um, again, you know, Hoopla has all of these different formats that you can choose from, just a matter of your preference. Go back to my Hoopla. So there's my currently borrowed item. And I already looked at my history. And these are things that are recommended for me based on what I have previously borrowed and what's popular right now. And also, I've got this favorite section down here. And these are things that I have kind of marked uh, as maybe save for later and check those out at a later time when I have time. You know, in this case, I think these are all videos. You know, when I have time to, to watch them. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my book that I have checked out right now. Yeah, maybe let's search for something first. Yeah, let's search for something. So let's look for Garrison healer and you can search for a person or you can search for a subject here and you'll get all kinds of things to choose from i did a search for garrison keeler and up here you can see that it's searching everything however i can make some limitations by clicking on this drop down menu and i can search for only audiobooks or only ebooks whatever i want i went ahead and left it at everything just to see what was available and along the left hand side here, you've got these other limiters as well. Again, you know, I can just do audiobooks or ebooks. You can even look at user rating, the release date, the date it was added to um, Hoopla, and language. In this case, there's only English, but there are um, other languages available on all, on all kinds of ebooks and audiobooks. Let me get to my notes here, one second. So aside from browsing through, um, browsing through or searching or browsing, you can just click on one of these, like click audiobooks, click ebooks. You know, they just bring up some, um, some options here for you, kind of front and center. There's a woman in the window. That's been a really popular book lately. Classic, 1984. So um, you just have some featured titles here, or you can search for something that you want. Um, let's go ahead and click on one of these. Um, let's say I want to read My Dear Hamilton. So I'm interested in this book. You just click on the cover image and you're going to get all kinds of information about this book. You can uh, get a summary of the book and see a rather lengthy one for this particular title. You can see that um, it was published in 2018. You could see how long the print book would be, how many pages. And here, just underneath it, you can see user ratings. This one's highly rated. And this little heart, if I click this, that is going to add that to my favorites or, you know, act similarly like a wish list kind of a thing. 
I'm just going to click that. Or if I like, here's where I can borrow this book. And again, everything that you find at Hoopla is available to you right away. It's not something that you're going to have to put your name on hold for. So I'm going to go ahead and click on borrow. Yes, I do want to borrow this title. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. There we go. Yeah, I do want to borrow the title. And it tells me when the title is due. Already got it checked out. It's going to show up in my checked out books area. And if I'm finished, it does, it does return itself automatically. You don't have to worry about checking anything back in, but if I want to, I can go ahead and return it now. Also at the bottom, you see similar artists. Here's some other authors that, you know, if I like this book or I like this author, it's going to kind of point me to some other things that are considered similar. So let me go back to my currently borrowed and I'll just, I'll go ahead and pick Arthur Rex here. And again, it very much looks the same way, but let me resume reading. I just click on that, and here's my book. It's calculating the number of pages. I don't know if you can see that. It's loading up. Even though I've already loaded it up once, it's going to reload here. This is a two-page spread, but what I really want to show you is up here in this uh, menu on the upper left-hand side. You can go to specific chapters. If you create bookmarks or highlights, you can jump to those immediately. The settings is what I want to point out. You have all of these settings here to adjust for screen brightness. You can change a font. If this is not a font that's easy for you to read, you could change a sec like text size, make it smaller or larger, bold text. You can see all these different options here for even line spacing and margin size. This is showing, you know, displays the book in one or two columns. Again, that's just a, a matter of preference. You can change that to one. So I just wanted to make sure that you were aware of these options for um, ebooks. Um, but, and all of the ebook services offer these kinds of settings and options. Um, having the ability to make those kind of customs to suit your own reading needs is certainly not an option with a print book. And uh, being able to adjust the text size and make those other uh, choices that suit your needs um, is one big advantage of ebooks. So let me go ahead and get out of all of this. I can move all of this stuff around. Go back. Slowly. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, close reader. And let me go ahead and get logged out of Hoopla. Got some settings options here. This is also where you'll log out. All right, so that's Hoopla. Hoopla's great. Let's love me some Hoopla. So now let's move on to Cloud Library. When you get logged into Cloud Library, you land here on this um, on this page where it has their featured items. These different categories are shown here: new fiction new nonfiction, what's been most popular, goes on to show juvenile fiction, audiobooks, teen fiction. There's just so much here to choose from. Um, you can, aside from the featured here, which is just presented for you when you first log in, you can also use this browse button. I'm gonna click on that. And it is browsing fiction right now. You kind of drop down underneath these main headings and you can select any of these different subheadings or subcategories. But it's starting with fiction here. You can look at nonfiction. It has it divided by biography, business, history, etc. And it also has teen and kids materials also. Now, to get more of what you're looking for, 
you can use this filters button here. And there's something similar at OverDrive that we'll look at also. Because remember, with Cloud Library and OverDrive, um, if I have an item checked out, that means somebody else can't use it until it checks back in or I return it early, and then it can go to the next person. So look at these filters here. And some people only want ebooks, some people only want audiobooks. And it starts off as a default is showing all titles. But say I want something right now, maybe I'm going on a trip even, and I just want to, you know, get as many materials as I can on my, you know, iPad or something, and I don't want to have to wait around. I just want to get some things now that I have access to and be on my way. So you can select this, you know, only want to see things that are available now. And then you wouldn't be putting any holds on anything or having to wait. Um, and that's fine. If you want to search for something and, and leave it at all titles, you're not in a hurry for anything, you certainly can leave it that way and just put your, put your name on hold for anything that uh, you want to check out later. So right here, um, you can see to, let me close out of that. I'm just going to leave it at their default setting. As you look through here, you can see um, on um, Cloud Library, they also show, they've got the ebooks, but they also have the audiobook here, which is indicated by this little icon of a um, little picture of headphones. So in this case, I'm looking at Splendid and the Vile by Eric Larson. Um, this is the ebook, and then this one is denoting the audiobook. So just pay attention to that if you haven't made those uh, limitations set in your filters. Um, just make sure that you pay attention to what you're getting. You know, you're just getting the ebook. And here's another example here a No Valor um, ebook, and then right next to it is audiobook. Let's just, let's just take a look at the available now and see, see how our screen changes. Here we go, I'm still uh, in the nonfiction section and I still have these same uh, categories here, but all of these are books that are available for me to check out or and read or listen to. So, so you know, just keep in mind that you've got that filters option, especially if you don't wanna wait around for something. So also back to these headings here, featured, browsing, just like with the other services, there's a search window here and you can look for somebody or something um, specific by using the search box. Uh, I don't know why it's telling me to log in. Whoops, somehow I managed to log myself out. One second, one second. Give that just a second to get me logged back in so I can show you what this looks like. So uh, if you remember, I just had conducted a search for James Patterson. So I'm going to see what is available here. And I'll just take a look at this top one. Very similar to uh, Hoopla. Just going to click on the cover here and get some more details about the book. Can get uh, a summary of the book. can get the uh, publication date, and this little flag here, that acts as your wish, wish list or favorites list, things I wanna read later, they're calling it a flag, uh, flag this as a book of interest. So if I do that, then it's gonna show up in my kind of wish list area. Or if I'm ready to check this book out, boop, right there. Just click the borrow button and I'll be on my way. So let's take a look at what you know kind of my account looks like here so that's where you're going to look under that heading for my books i don't have anything currently checked out at cloud library let's see if i have anything on hold don't have anything on hold I have a history i should because yeah there we go there's some things that i have you know read or checked out before um 
this very top one here, Atomic Habits, looks like it's checked out. I'd have to place a hold on that one, but some of these other ones, I could borrow them again if I wanted to read them again, just check them out right from my history. And the little flag that I mentioned just a moment ago, here's a couple of titles that I would like to check out. Um, and these are, you know, titles from this year and they've been pretty popular. So I'm great. Um, I'm really grateful to see that they're available if I wanted to borrow them right now. So that is kind of the my account setting, you know, shows your bookshelf, your holds, your history, and the books of interest that I might want to get back to. Or, you know, if you're browsing around and um, you don't have time, you don't want to read that book, you, know, you can just flag that for later. So you're like me, it's like, I can't remember, I know I found something and it's there on your list. You don't have to you know, try to recreate a search and find something that you knew you'd seen, but had forgotten about. So let's go ahead and log out Cloud Library here. Log out. Yes, I want to log out. And the next thing that we're going to look at is Let's see if I can get this thing out of the way, it's just in my way, is OverDrive. Now up here along the left hand side it says library to go and that is fine. That's what you want to see when you're logged into OverDrive or if you're using the Libby app which is powered by OverDrive that indicates that you're at the Arkansas Library to go um, catalog and that's where you want to be once you get logged in. Um, we have uh, greater borrowing, or excuse me, buying power because we're part of a consortium with other libraries in the region. And so this is called Arkansas Library to Go. So don't let that confuse you. It's still OverDrive, or if you're using the app, it's called Libby, but it's all powered by OverDrive. It's all the same thing. So don't worry about that. So once you are logged in here, this is a landing page. They have a little featured section here. Here's talking about Libby, which is the uh, the app that you would use if you're going to uh, read ebooks or listen to e audiobooks on a mobile device. And then they have these different categories here: some recently added, diverse reads for kids and teens, literary minded, and it just it just goes on down down the line here. You can see, um, you know, that they have those featured titles on a variety of topics and they change those out periodically. You can also see, let me go back up to the top, the different search options as well as the search box if you want to look for something specific. Let's just click on one of these book covers. Again, that's how we're, you know, going to look for something. How about There There by Tommy Orange. I'm going to click on that. And again, just like with the other services, you get a little bit more detail about this item. You know, they're there, a novel by Tommy Orange. You could see uh, user ratings here. There's two or three copies that are available. I can borrow the item directly from here. I can add it to a wish list and I can add it to my history. Say I read it and I deleted it or I didn't have the settings set to where I wanted my history to be safe, I can add it. Or if I'm just keeping track of books that I've read in print, I can add it to my history there too, to remind myself, hey, I've already read this book. So you've got the description of the book here, more details about the book, and reviews from professional journals. Now, the other thing that I want to show you, aside from these, you know, search options here, let's just Let's go ahead and just take a look. You can search by different subjects, all formats, ebooks only, audiobooks. There are some videos here, not very many, but there are some. You can search specific collections for kids and teen, or all of these over here are going to be for adults. So let's just look at, and there's that available now option too that I mentioned previously. If you just want to get something now without waiting for it, you don't have to. Let's look at an ebook that's most popular. Just look at that.
and where the product thing now that's pretty popular and there again you have your description ratings and all the options that you've got if you want to place a hold on this one all of our copies are checked out that's where you would do that and it's telling me here it's giving me an estimated wait time of about two weeks Another thing that I want to show beyond, oh, I know I did want to mention Kindle books. If you're using a Kindle reader, this is where you would, you could limit to files that you only want to use on your Kindle. So you're not looking for different formats that aren't going to work with your device. So just keep that in mind. And if you're only looking for kids or only looking for teen materials. What I want to show you next is this little icon here. So it's a little books on a shelf. And that's going to take me to the things that I have checked out, my loans, my holds, my wish list, titles that I've rated, recommendations that I've made for the library, my reading history, and a spot for me to um, set some search preferences here. It's also all of these things here are under this My Account so let me just click on that see loans holds which is it's all listed there and this is also where i'll sign out when i'm done so i just like to look here and look at these you know, one at a time so here's a book that i have currently checked out it's like i haven't downloaded it yet okay here's my holds i'm not sure if i have anything on hold oh yeah i do i've got a couple of things oh look educated is ready for me to borrow so I can go ahead and borrow that just right from this page if I like. I don't have to go back out and search for it or anything like that. I can borrow it right away. And here's another book that I've got on hold. I can um, suspend the hold if I want to, you know, read it later, um, or I can just cancel a hold there. So that's your hold section. Your wish list. Okay, this is um, where I've added uh, something to my wish list, and I've got this one added here. I can place a hold on it because it's checked out right now, or I can cancel the hold by using that. I, I don't think I've rated any titles, so yeah, and I haven't made any recommendations through Overdrive for the library to consider adding to the digital collection. I haven't done that. My history, there should be a history there. Oh yeah, then there's my one that I have checked out and some other titles that I've, I've looked at. And then here on the left are the settings. And this is really important to consider. Um, these are the default settings for uh, lending period. You can change that to any of those options there. This is where you could um, uncheck this if you didn't want your um, history to be shown. You don't want it to keep track for you. And audiences here. Uh, the default is all audiences, but if you only want to look at kids or young adult or adult or mature content, you know, you can select, make those selections. There's a Kindle preference op option and a high contrast or dyslexic font option. And this is for while you are searching at Overdrive. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and log out of here. That's all I have to show you. So there's my sign out button. So I'll mention again that each of these services have the free app option for you to use on your mobile devices. They'll look a little different. Um, on your phone or on your tablet, but all the functionality is there. So we've looked at some of the entertainment options you have available to download for free using your Fayetteville Public Library card. I'll leave you with some contact information up on the screen in case you want to get in touch with us if you have any further questions, if you need some help getting started, or you um, experience any kind of technical hiccup along the way. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you at the Fayetteville Public Library.